over a century ago, on this day, on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, an armistice was signed to end World War I. It became known as Armistice Day to remember those who lost their lives in what was supposed to be the war to end all wars. In 1915, a Canadian soldier penned the poem In Flanders Field. Recognizing the stark contrast of the bright and live poppies growing around the desolate graves of the war victims, it soon inspired the world to wear a poppy in remembrance. Near that time, a century ago, the Peace Arch was completed along the U.S.-Canada border. On it, the inscription, Brethren Dwelling Together in Unity. Soldiers from both countries standing side by side on many battlefields around the world, sharing in both triumph and in tragedy. Remembrance Day and Veterans Day originated to honor those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. And over time, the tribute has extended to also be in remembrance for the men and women who have served and continue to serve during times of war, conflict, and peace. So thank you to all the veterans, past and present, on both sides of the border, men and women from all walks of life and cultures, that chose to give of yourselves to protect the freedoms that we all enjoy. You exemplify the true patriot love as spoken of in one anthem, and the land of the free as the other anthem proclaims. O oh, say can you see as you stand on guard for thee, may God keep both lands glorious and free. <laughs>